Okay, 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 I'm here. So in this video, we are going to do just this. I mean, not that, but we are going to build a real-time face detection system using Python and OpenCV. And we'll try to do this. I mean, build the complete project in as few lines as possible. We'll try to finish this in less than 20 lines. And I think we should be able to do it. So make sure you watch this video till end. My name is Rishabh and welcome to my channel. Let's get into this. God, what a terrible video quality. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start by importing OpenCV, right? If you don't have this installed, just write this command, pip install OpenCV-Python. If you run this, it's going to install OpenCV for you. Then you import uh, CV2. Now, you're going to uh, import the model, the pre-trained model that we are going to use to detect the faces from the video that we supply. So, I'm going to use the Har Cascade model. And if you want to download this model, just copy this. and put this on Google. The first link that you see, just click on it, right click, save page as, select this to all files and put XML and click save. Yeah, I'll replace it. Now, when you have this downloaded, just input it like this, load it like this. Then we are going to open up the webcam for us or the video capture device. Uh, so I'm going to write cvd.video capture. I'm going to put zero because uh, I'm using a web webcam, but you have, if you have a file, a video file, you can just input the file name up here like this and it will do on that one as well. I'm also going to set the frame rate for this one. Uh, I want the recording to look a little bit better. So we're going to set the frame rate using this command prop uh, FPS and we're going to set it to 30 FPS. Okay, the video is coming in. Now uh, we are going to do the face detection. So we're going to write a loop and we are going to capture each individual frame or image from the video that's coming in. So video is nothing but a series of images that are flowing at, at a certain frame rate, right? In this case, we put up at uh, 30 FPS. So uh, how this model works is it's going to apply or detect the faces on each of those individual frames and then we're going to overwrite it on the original input that we have. If it confuses you, don't worry, we'll figure everything out. So now uh, this model needs actually the grayscale images. So we're going to uh, convert each, each individual frame into grayscale. So we're going to sub supply the frame to it. And then we are going to convert it from uh, BGR or RGB to grayscale. Okay, we have it. Now we are going to detect the faces. So uh, we'll use the face casket classifier, then detect multi scale the grayscale image that we have above and some parameters which are used to improve the model or you know for, for tuning of the model basic basically now we have detected the faces so this uh, this function or this variable actually returns us coordinates the, the, the x y and the height and the width coordinates for each of the faces detected now what we're going to do we're going to iterate over those coordinates and we're going to put up a rectangle because that's how we know that it has detected something and where it is. So we are going to use uh, this method cvd.rectangle over what? If, over we want the rectangle over the image. Now we are not putting up the rectangle over the grayscale image because we want to do it on the original input. If you do it on the grayscale image, then it's going to change the input to grayscale. It's not going to look good. We want to do it on the original one. So here we supply the x, y coordinates and here we supply x plus width and y plus height so these the first two ones are the uh, are two coordinates and these ones are the other two coordinates then we are going to write the color of rectangle so i'm going to put blue color so 255 is for blue this is g and this is r so bgr and then the thickness of the rectangle so i'll just put up three so we have nice thick <laughs> yeah boy rectangle then we're going to show these uh, frames so i'll just put up this as I am show and we're going to display the images. So this is going to put up a kind of uh, uh, a tab for us or a window for us. Now we want these frames to be, you know, to be sent to us or to be sent to the window in a gap of uh, 30 milliseconds. Okay. So we're going to write this and we're going to write this as uh, OXFF. So this is nothing but uh, hexadecimal for 255 and it's going to make the while loop run continuously. Okay, but we do want to come out of it. So if the value of K is 27, that is if we press 
the escape key on the keyboard then it's going to break out of the while loop now we are out of the while loop so we'll release the video that we had been capturing that we started capturing uh, at this instant now the video is released we'll wait for 0 milliseconds and then we are going to close all the windows so this command is going to close the windows when we click on the cross button so if you see the number of lines it's 27 but if we exclude these gaps right i think it's well below uh, 20 lines and maybe we can finish this between within 15 lines if i'm not wrong but does this work the big question it would let's just run this it will take it probably takes some time i promise you will see something really beautiful okay and here it is who's this pretty boy Okay, so a uh, few things that we need to note up here. So this is since this is a frontal face detector, it's not going to detect the faces if they are at a certain angle or if they are, you know, tilted something like that. So if I tilt my face like this, it's probably not going to detect it. This is the most basic one that we have. Even if I rotate my face like this, right, I don't think it's going to detect it completely. So that's what we have. But let's see if it's if it's able to detect uh, multiple faces at a moment. So I'm going to bring up picture of a beautiful thing up here. Uh, okay, it's able to detect. Okay, don't got a frame. Yeah, it's able to detect, I would say. And even if uh, it's quite far away, even if it's quite far away, right? Uh, it's able to detect. Okay, this is the point where it couldn't detect or it's having difficulty to detect. But it's working really fine, I would say. It's able to detect multiple faces at once and uh, yeah it's it's working fine now to come out of this we uh, press escape it's going to pause the video for us as it has oh look at the face and then we click on the close button and we are back on track so this was it we were able to implement this so this is kind of a beginner's project that we did in college but it's a really fun thing to do and to be able to do it in just a few lines this is what makes it you know really nice and a really cool fun thing to do Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing to the channel and give it some few likes. If you want to see some more content like this one, let me know. I'll be very happy to put up some contents regarding OpenCV or, you know, deep learning NLP, anything it could be. Just let me know in the comments. Try to implement this uh, on your own and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.